Thousands of people gathered at Nathan Phillips Square yesterday to mark six months since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. Demonstrators called for the release of hostages and an end to the conflict. Hamas is believed to be holding roughly 100 hostages, as well as the remains of about 30 people who were killed on October 7th or died in captivity. Families of hostages demanded more action to ensure their return after six months of war. Very uplifting to know that the community, and not only the community, Iranian and other nationalities are here to support the cause of life. You know, it's not necessarily to say support Israel or support Gaza, it's support life, because all, all we want in the end is all our people home. That's it. We don't want anything else. We're not asking for anything else. All we're asking is bring our people home. That's it. Throughout all of our experience, uh, whether it be the Egyptians, whether it be the Persians and Haman and the Purim story, whether it be the Romans, the Greeks, the Spanish, uh, the Nazis, and now Hamas, um, this is a story we understand. It's an experience that is all too familiar with us. And as we've done throughout our history, we will continue to not only survive, but thrive. And so we're coming together now in support of Israel, in support of our values, in support of combating anti-Semitism and hate and in support of freeing the hostages is the most important message that comes out of today. A pro-Palestinian counter-protest took place next to the rally at Nathan Phillips Square. Police set up a metal fence to separate both groups of demonstrators. No incidents have been reported so far.